Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Flipped PD. Today's episode I'm going to be talking about five tools that you can use in your classroom tomorrow. They require minimal setup, they're really super easy to use, really user friendly, and I think they'll transform the way you teach your class in a lot of aspects. So let's take a look at them. This first one here is called the Google Cultural Institute and the link is right there. This is an amazing resource. It's got all kinds of stuff from art to history to world wonders. I mean, if I just click on here where it says world wonders, I'll show you what this thing has inside. You can go virtually anywhere in the world and have some amazing footage and information brought to your fingertips. Uh, if I just click on the next one here where it says Stonehenge, it's got info on the left hand side. And if I go in the middle here, I get a 360 degree view of Stonehenge. It's a really immersive environment, but it's not just limited to, to pictures and maps. It's got whole museum exhibits embedded in here. So any one of these things here is a great way to start conversation with your kids. Primary source documents, archival footage. So check this out when you get a chance. It's called the Google Cultural Institute. Okay, number two on the countdown is Socrative at Socrative.com and this thing I think is really going to change everything about how we grade in school. It's going to do away with scantrons, it's going to do away with hand grading things. This thing is compatible across platforms, it's all browser based which means there's nothing to download on your end. Um, and as much as I would love to uh, take credit for the creation of this site. I had no part to play in the creation of Socrative, even though my name is on the website. Uh, but anyway, this is this is a really awesome tool that you can use to assess in your class. So when you log in, you'll there's two different views. The right hand side is the student view, left hand side is the teacher view. And in the teacher view, you have four different choices. You can start a quiz, ask a quick question, do a space race kind of a game, or create an exit ticket. So if I show you with a quick question, this is sort of a group response, and you have multiple choice, true, false, short answer, and the class responds as a whole. And the answers just come pouring in, and you can see as a class how you are kind of doing. You can also create individualized tests, which is create a quiz option, and you make a new quiz and select the question and choose you know, the right answer and you can set the parameters and, the, and the, literally the answers from the kids responses just come pouring into you. There's nothing else to take home, nothing to throw through a scantron, it's all automatic for you. And you can download these really rich reports that tell you how the kids did as a whole for the whole class, but you can also dive deeper and get individualized uh, tests uh, for each kid to print out so you can talk about what each kid missed and why which is a great way you can have a conversation. So Socrative, I think, is going to change the way we grade in school. TED Ed is the number three on the countdown at ed.ted.com. And this is an extension of the TED Talk series I'm sure you've all seen, but it takes it a step further and is coming at it from the K-12 mindset and it takes pretty complicated ideas and creates these little animated shorts uh, about each concept. So that's a really amazing tool right there alone, but it's not just about the videos. There are lessons that they've created with uh, pre-created questions that go along with each video. Everything from math to health to science, literature, social studies, etc. And uh, these things are already you know, embedded within this suite of, uh, of videos. And they've also created series of lessons that the folks at TED have grouped together based on uh, common themes like chemistry, inventions, uh, how we think. Um, so these are all sort of categories that the folks at TED have put together with lessons that are already in there. But you can build any lesson you want based on any TED talk or YouTube video already out there. So all you gotta do is find the video you want, select it for the site, copy it as a link, and then you can add questions in pieces to the video. But the most amazing thing about this, I'm going to have the folks at TED explain to you. And now to one of the most powerful features of the TED Ed website, flipping a lesson. Flipping a featured lesson allows you to edit each of the lesson sections. You can edit the title as it relates to your class. You can use the Let's Begin section to provide instructions or context for the lesson. You can select or deselect any quick quiz question. 
In the Think section, you can add your own open answer questions. And in the Dig Deeper section, you can use the resources provided or add your own. When you finish flipping a lesson, it'll publish to a new and unique URL. And because the link is unique, it can measure the progress of any learner you share it with. You can use it to measure participation and the accuracy of any individual student's answers. So that's how you flip a featured TED-Ed video. But we've got one more major feature to tell you about. Using the TED-Ed platform, you can flip any video from YouTube. That means you can create a lesson around any TED Talk, any TEDx Talk, but also any of the other thousands of great educational videos on YouTube, including the ones that you yourself could record, upload, and flip. I just want to pause it right there. We all know that ultimately good teaching is about relationship building. And I believe that flipping your classroom is an awesome way to extend relationships beyond your classroom walls. How amazing would it be if your students doing a project for your class go home and they search for a concept they have questions about and they find you, their teacher, teaching them the concept. So if you want to do this, please let me know. We'll get you set up with it. And through flipping these lessons, together we'll create a free and remarkable library of lessons worth sharing. So that is ed.ted.com. Number four, Plickers at Plickers.com. If you have had a desire to try out using the smart response systems in our media center, this kind of replaces that and makes it a lot easier. So instead of having individual devices, the kids have cards. They have paper you pass out. And so you have, as a teacher, you have an iPad. Each student has uh, an individual uh, card that you print out and depending on how those cards are rotated it tells the app uh, either in your phone or again your iPad uh, it gives the child's name and it also will give them give you their response to the given question which will allow you uh, to collect that data instantaneously and then talk about that data it's kind of a great way you can talk about where the kids think they're at as a class and so then you can collect it and then you can project that information on the board behind you and have a conversation about where the kids are at. So try this out. It's called Plickers. Last but not least, Kahoot. If you are a student, you go to Kahoot.it. If you're a teacher, it's GetKahoot.com. Guys, I have never seen kids more excited about reviewing for a test in my whole life. This uh, piece of software is free and it literally turns your class into a game show so creating a free account is very easy you go through the questions you create your account and you choose the kind of uh, assessment or review that you want to do uh, while I'll walk you through this here you can click on this and it gives you a choice to give your, uh, your quiz a name and then you just sort of hit go and you can create questions, you can add images to each question if you want to, um, and then you select the right answer. So when you log in, you can, you can do that and you can hit launch the quiz, and then when the kids are ready to go, they have a code, a game pin as, it, as it's called, and they use their devices at their desks, and it's, they, it's like each kid has their own Jeopardy buzzer. So, I mean, again, I have seen kids out of their seats excited about reviewing concepts uh, in classes so if you haven't seen this yet if you haven't tried it out yet talk to me talk to the science department I know other folks have used it as well Kahoot it's a great tool try it out and that's about it for me that was five tools you can use in your classroom tomorrow these tools are all free of charge if you have questions about them let me know otherwise Thank you so much for the incredibly important work you all do every single day. What you do for kids is hugely important. So thank you and have a good one.